Section 12.5, Circles in a Coordinate Plane. Theorem 12.13, an equation of a circle in standard form with a center labeled H, K, and a radius R is R squared equals the quantity of X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. In the diagram, I have a circle that is not centered at the origin. I have a center that I can label H, K rather than X2, Y2. I have a point on the circle that I can label X1, Y1. I can determine the distance of this radius by using what we've used in the past, the distance formula. But rather than D, I can let it be R. We know that is the square root of X2 minus X1 and Y2 minus Y1, both quantity squared. If I substitute into the values X and Y for X sub 2 and Y sub 2, and H and K for X sub 1 and Y sub 1, then I can square both sides and generate the formula for the standard form of a circle. In this example, they want us to write the standard equation of each circle. I'm given a center and a radius. Our standard form is from the previous slide. We know r squared, so this is going to be 7 squared, which is 49, equals x minus h. Our h is negative, so this is a negative negative 3, which is a positive 3, quantity squared, plus y minus 5, quantity squared. So this is our standard form for a center at negative 3, 5, with a radius of 7. Our next example has a center with a negative 4, h, and a negative 11, k, and a radius of 12. Substituting into my formula, I'm going to get r squared, which is 144, equals x minus a negative 4, x plus 4, squared plus y minus k minus a negative 11 is a positive 11 quantity squared. This is the standard form of a circle with a center of a negative 4, negative 11, and a radius of 12. In this example, they want us to find the standard equation of a circle with the given center that passes through the given point. What we need to do is to generate the length of our radius. To do that, we're going to find the radius by using the distance formula. We know the distance formula is d, and here that will equal the length of our radius, r, equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. When I substitute, I'm going to get r, or the distance, equals the square root of x2, which is a negative 8, minus x1, which is a negative 5, squared, plus y2, a negative 4, minus y1, which is 7, squared. Therefore, r is equal to the square root of a negative 8 plus 5 is a negative 3 squared, is 9, plus a negative 4 minus 7 is a negative 11 squared, is 121. That gives us r equal to the square root of 130. Now I can substitute my radius into my standard form of a circle. So r squared is the square root of 130 squared, which is 130, equal to, this is h and k. So I can substitute in x minus h is a negative 5, so that's plus 5, squared plus y minus k, which is 7 squared. And that is the standard form of a circle with a center at a negative 5, 7, and a radius that we generated to be the square root of 130. In this example, again, we want to find the equation of a circle that passes through the center in the given point. So we need to find the length of the radius, or the distance, using the center and the given point. So the distance formula, d, or in this case, the length of the radius, equals the square root of, and we know the distance formula to be x2 which is 2, minus x1, which is 4, plus y2, which is a negative 2, minus y1, which is 8. That will give us r equal to the square root of 2 
minus 4 is a negative 2 squared, which is 4, plus a negative 2 minus 8 is a negative 10 squared is 100. So I know my radius is equal to the square root of 104. Substituting our values into the standard form of a circle, r squared is the square root of 104 squared, which is 104. I know h and k. Substituting those values in, x minus h, or 4, squared, plus y minus k, or 8, quantity squared. Our standard form is 104 equals x minus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 8 quantity squared for a center and the given radius. In this example, they want me to find the center and radius of the circle with the given equation, then graph the circle. We know the formula for the standard form of circle is r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. So I can determine our center h and k. Since this is a positive value, I know that this must be a negative 1 for my h. This is negative, this is negative. So my k is 2. I know my radius squared is 25. So I need to determine my radius by taking the square root of 25. So r is 5. Now to graph this, I just plot my center, which here is a negative 1, 2. And then I count out my radii, 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I do that to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To the left and bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, I just create a circle as best I can. On this example, again, they want me to find the center, the radius, and graph the equation. I know my standard form of a circle is r squared equals x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k squared. Here I have no value for h. Therefore, that would be a 0 for h. k, I have a minus k. This is a plus, so therefore k must be negative. So this is a negative 3. That's how I would get a negative times a negative or a positive 3. r squared is 30. I need r, which is the square root of 30. And when I plug that into a calculator, I can approximate that to 5.5. To graph, I just plot the center, 0, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and then count the radii in all directions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a half, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a half, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a half, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a half. Then generate a circle the best I can. On this example, they want me to use the diagram to write an equation that describes the position and the radius. Well, the radius is located at 1, 2, 3. That's a negative 3. And for my y, a 0, a negative 3, 0. The length of my radius is 1, 2, 3, 4. I can check again, 1, 2, 3, 4. So my radius is equal to 4. Now I just substitute these values into the standard form of an equation. Here's h, k, and r squared is equal to 16. So 16 equals x minus a negative 3, so x plus 3 squared, plus y minus 0, or when I simplify, I'm just going to get 16 equals x plus 3 squared plus y squared. Again, in this example, they want me to use the diagram to write an equation that describes the position and radius. My center is located at a positive 1, 1, 2, 3, negative 3. I have a radius 
that I can count, and that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and let's test that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have an R that equals 7. Now I can generate the equation with my H, K, and a radius squared, which is 49. Substituting into my standard form, 49 equals X minus 1 squared plus Y minus a negative 3 or plus 3 squared. Here they want me to write the standard form of this circle. Again, similar to the last examples, I need to determine the center. My center is at the origin, and that would be 0, 0. Now I need to determine my radius, so I need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's verify that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my radius is equal to 9, and I have an H, a K, and my radius is 9, so R squared is equal to 81. And when I substitute into my standard form, 81 equals X minus 0 squared plus Y minus 0 squared. And I can simplify that to be 81 equals X squared plus Y squared. In this example, I'm given the diameter XY, and I need to determine the equation of a circle. I need to find the center and also the radius. To find the center, I know that it must be the midpoint of my diameter. Therefore, I need to find the midpoint. I can label these by x1, y1, x2, y2, as we had in the past. And I know from previous sections that our midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. Substituting, I can get the midpoint or the center of the circle. This would be a negative 2 plus 3 over 2. Y1, which is 6 plus a negative 1 over 2. And I would get a negative 2 plus 3 is 1 over 2, or a half. And 6 plus a negative 1 is 5 over 2. This is the center of the circle. Now I need to determine the length of my diameter. Here I've used in the past that R, our distance, is equal to our distance formula. But that was when we were generating the radius. Here I have the diameter, so this is 2R. Now I just substitute the square root of, and I have 3 minus a negative 2 squared plus a negative 1 minus 6 squared when I simplify. 2R, or the diameter, is going to equal 5 squared, or 25, plus a negative 7 squared, or 49. That gives me the square root of 74. I need half of that, so the radius is equal to the square root of 74 divided by 2. Now I know the center of my circle, and I know the radius. Now I substitute into my standard form for a circle. I need r squared, so I square the square root of 74 over 2, which gives me 74 over 4. Equals x minus 1 half squared plus y minus 5 halves. squared. Now I can simplify this to be 37 equals x minus 1 half squared plus y minus 5 halves squared. In this example, again, they want me to write the equation of a circle when I'm given the endpoints of the diameter. So again, I need to find the midpoint 
and I need to find the length of the diameter, take half, and then substitute into my standard form for a circle. I'm going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. Find the midpoint, which will be the center of my circle. That will give me 0 plus a negative 6 over 2. And it will be 0 plus 4 over 2 for the midpoint of my diameter. That gives me a negative 3, 2 for the center of my circle. I know that I have a diameter, so I usually have this as r equal the length because I'm generating the radius, but this is my diameter, so that's 2r. And when I substitute, that's going to give me a negative 6 plus 0 squared plus 4 plus 0 squared. Simplifying, I get the square root of negative 6 squared is 36 plus 4 squared is 16. So 2r is equal to the square root of 52. I need the radius, so the radius is equal to, divide both sides by 2, the square root of 52 over 2. Substituting into my standard form of a circle, I need r squared, so I square this. Square root of 52 times the square root of 52 is 52 over 4. Equals, and I have a center, which is going to be a h at negative 3, so that's x plus 3 squared plus k is 2, y minus 2 squared. Now I'm going to simplify. 52 divided by 4 is going to be 13, which equals x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared. 